Adjusterpedia.com. This is Mark from Adjusterpedia.com. Today I'm going to show how to make an octagon tray ceiling, which can be a little bit complicated if you don't know what you're doing. But once you've got it figured out, I think you should be able to do this with no problem. You can see underneath here, you can see the, the ceiling goes all the way up to the tray there. And uh, so if, I guess the first thing let's do is let's get rid of this one. I'll delete it and we'll start from scratch. Okay, so first thing obviously you're going to need to know the dimensions. You'll want to know the outside octagon as well as the tray inside octagon size. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use a just as kind of a default size and we'll go from there. So I'm going to hit the R for the room key. It's going to give me the 12 by 12. First thing we want to do is kind of highlight the whole thing and grab this one corner, either one will do, and drag it in until make a triangle. So it's a left click and drag in. Now we've got a, a triangle there, but what we want to do is we want to drag this bottom point out toward the middle, and that way we've got a perfect isosceles triangle. So now what we're going to do here is grab the vertex tool. We're going to come up. It doesn't really matter exactly how much because we can adjust it after the fact. So we'll just say seven foot up or so. I'm going to click that there, and now I'm going to drag this one up like so. Make it flat and even. So the two things we need to figure out on our measurement-wise is how, how far the uh, back wall was versus how far the, uh, the inner tray sits. So let's just say that this back tray is at 12 feet, so we'll drag that up just a little. And so that's 12 foot 1. We'll back drag down just a touch. And what we can do is watch this is at 9.7 now, and I'll say drag it down. We'll take it to 9.6 and see if that's where we like. 12.1, so let's try it at 9.5. Drag it back to 9.5. There we go, that should be 12. There we go, 12 on the inside. Now, depending on how thick your walls are here, uh, some of this can vary. Um, use the defaults and it should work like mine. So let's just say that the inside uh, where the tray is is 5 foot. So let's drag this up a little. And we'll look, we're at 5 foot 1, that's at 9 1, so we'll take this down to 9. Let's see if that worked. Oh, we're at 5 2, sorry, I went the wrong way. There we go. 5 foot on the inside, 12 foot on the outside. Alright, and so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and change the name of this to C uh, Octagon. So we have something. And then uh, we'll use the same default size on the, uh, the walls and everything. So I'm going to control C to copy, and then I'm going to paste, and I'm going to use my tab key to spin it around until it lines up, bring it in and connect it. And control V again, tap or bring it around. Oops, shift tab makes it go backwards. And we're going to do this over and over and over until we've got all eight of them in here. On this last one, if you didn't do it perfect, then it's not going to line up. I trust you'll do it perfect, just like I did. Um, now, one thing we want to do is switch that to subgroup of the octagon. So we're going to do that real quick. Subgroup of octagon. That way they all belong to the same ceiling. Okay, I went ahead and did all the rest of these so I didn't have to make you sit around watching. So, now let me look at this in 3D. I pushed the 3 key. You can see we've got the flat, the flat inner part. Now what we're going to have to do is drop the uh, tray in the middle, which sounds complicated, but it's not. Um, all we need to do for this process, let's do this first. Let's get rid of these lines. You can do it by the uh, missing wall, or you can just hit the delete key. I like the delete key. So much easier. Hit delete, click delete, click delete, click delete. That way it's real quick and painless. Now I hit the 3 for the 3D, and you can see it's just like that. Perfect. Now we've got our main walls in. What we want to do is put in the tray ceiling part. This middle part is going to work out to be the tray. Right now it's nothing, it has no room assigned to it. It's just sort of vacant there. Everything else is a room. So the uh, solution to this is very simple. All we're going to do is take a wall, and put it between these two spots, any two spots will do, across any, and now it makes two rooms. And by doing that, it gives us the option to go in 
and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go change this to the subgroup of the octagon and we're going to raise the floor height to eight foot since that's where the other floor uh, the other ceiling stops and then we're going to raise this by two foot and that's going to give us a two foot raise on it you could use one or whatever it happens to be i'm using two just because it shows up a little better so we'll do the same thing on the other side we're going to say subgroup of the octagon we're going to raise this to eight feet because now that's the floor of the tray and there's going to be a two foot height on the tray there we go and if we wanted to make this a little cleaner we could turn off these labels as well like so do the same there just for giggles and make it look all pretty there we go now what's going to happen is well let's get rid of this we're going to hit uh hit this middle key or on this middle line and then we're going to hit the delete key that's going to delete that it makes it look like one now i'm going to hit the three the number three and it's going to show there you go look at that and you look from underneath you can see that it's all the way up inside and it's as simple as that really um, i'm going to hit escape when if you want to clean it up some you can hit i'm going to control click all of these just like so and go in here and shut off the labels on those click to know boom there you go it looks really clean it's that simple if you found this tutorial helpful please like it for me and subscribe to our channel to see more Xactimate tutorials leave a comment or drop me an email if you want to request a special topic related to adjusting or Xactimate you can check out adjusterpedia.com if you want detailed information on how to get started as an adjuster adjusterpedia.com